Welcome to ICT Induction for new students of Glasgow Caledonian University. When you enrolled in your programme, you were sent an email by the university. The email contained your username and your password, which you will require to access all of the university systems. Your username will remain with you from now until you graduate from university. The password that was sent to you, the generic password, is not always easy to remember. If you do want to change this password, simply log in to www.gcu.ac.uk slash forefront then follow the instructions for student to register to the system. Simply follow the instructions to change your password. Your new password must be 8 characters or more in length, must contain uppercase, lowercase, letters, numbers and at least one special character. Your domain password and username are required for all of these systems. Student email, GC Learn, Registration Zone, Library Online Resources and Edurome Wireless Network. Please protect your username and your password in the same way you would treat your bank cards and PIN numbers. Your domain password will be valid for one year. The university web pages say 90 days, however this has been changed. Your password will remain active for one calendar year. Edge Your Home is the university's Wi-Fi system. You can access it all over campus and in student accommodation. You can also access Edge Your Home in other student accommodation areas around Glasgow or if you live near other educational establishments or near medical facilities. Edgerome is available in every other educational establishment on the map where it's coloured blue. To log into Edgerome, simply use your device, search for the Edgerome Wi-Fi, use your full student email address, which is your username at caledonian.ac.uk, and your domain password, and you have access to the Wi-Fi system. You can have more than one device on the system at any one time. GC Learn is the virtual learning environment and the major communication tool of Glasgow Caledonian University to provide you with all of your learning and teaching materials. All of your assessments will also be provided through GC Learn and on completion of your coursework assessments, you will upload those assessments back in through GC Learn. Your assignments are marked online, maintained in digital format, and your grades are given back through GC Learn. This is the primary communication tool between the university and yourself with regards to all the modules you'll be studying while you're a student at this university. Any announcements that are sent to you by your lecturing staff from any of the modules you're studying in will go through GCU Learn. They will appear up inside the activity stream of GCU Learn. These announcements will appear inside your student email account because both these systems are tied together. That way you have up-to-date information with regards to the modules you're studying on at the earliest possible convenience. When you log into GCU Learn, the first page you arrive is the activity stream. Here you will find all the announcements from all of the modules you're studying on this trimester will appear in one collection. They are put into four categories of important, upcoming, today and recent. The important announcements appear at the top of the list and are coloured in red. They also have a dismiss button to the side of them. Before hitting this dis dismiss button, please make sure you action any of the links that are available inside this announcement. If you click the dismiss button before then, the important announcements do disappear and they will not appear back in this list again. They will be accessible from the module they came from, but they will disappear from this list. So it's a good idea to make sure you action these announcements before you hit the dismiss button. GC Learn also contains other information outside of your modules. The School of Computing, Engineering and Built Environment have a school community where they have lots of extra information for you as students to make your experience the best it can be. The Learning Development Centre put plenty of information in here to assist your studies. They have material for academic writing, exam preparation and study skills, there's ICT support materials, language support and online mathematics and numeracy support. The ICT support is a web-based resource and in here you'll find lots of tutorial videos which will take you through the learning of Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint uh, to a professional standard. It's a good idea to access this material and become conversant with the use of Microsoft Office, you will be using these packages a lot while you're a student at the university. GC Learn also has an extra tool called Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. This resource is used to provide you with all your lectures, tutorials and practical classes during lockdown restrictions. It's a good idea to go to your application store in the same way you download your Blackboard Mobile to look for Blackboard Collaborate Mobile and install this onto your mobile device. That way, if you're not in front of your home computer or your laptop to engage with any lectures that are broadcast to you, you can access these through your mobile device regardless of where you are. 
the university has invested in these resources to ensure that your experience as a student of Glasgow Caledonian is the best it can be. As part of your student email account, you are given access to the full enterprise version of Office 365, which essentially means that you can access Microsoft Office applications through a web browser without having the actual software on your computer. If you go to the student web pages of the university and click on the email link, it will take you to a login page where you will insert your full student email address and your domain password, and you'll be taken to a browser-based version of Microsoft Outlook, your student email account. In the top right-hand side of that window, you'll find a, a square with uh, a grid of nine dots. When clicked on that, you will find applications of Word, Excel, PowerPoint can be utilised inside the web browser. You do not need the software on your computer. You also have access to the Microsoft 365 OneDrive, which is the default save location for all the applications inside the browser version of Office 365. It's a good idea to log into your email account and become conversant with the software that's available to you. An extra bonus with Office 365 Online and indeed Office 365, the desktop applications, is the ability to share documents and collaboratively work on files together, which means essentially the days gone by of working in teams or groups and one person creating a document and work processing, then having to email the document to another person of the group to carry out their work and then email it on, these days are gone. You can all work simultaneously on the same document. As I said, you also have access to a OneDrive, which is a one terabyte of online storage. This is the best option for storing all of your important university materials. Please store all of your university materials inside the OneDrive. If you store it to a local drive and the drive crashes or dies, you lose everything and it's almost impossible to retrieve it. Microsoft Office OneDrive is backed up by Microsoft on a regular basis, so it's a good idea to save all of your important university materials to OneDrive and your university lecturing staff know this exists. As an extra bonus with Office 365, you get five full clean installs of the application software. To log into your student email address, simply go to www.gcu.ac.uk forward slash student. Scroll down, click on the email link, and you'll be taken to a login page to log into your student email account. Insert your full student email address and your domain password, and you have access to your online university email account. Please check this regularly to make sure you're up to date with all the information with regards to the modules you're studying. To access the Microsoft Office 365 applications, simply go to the small grid on the top left hand side, and instantly you have access to Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and OneDrive, and all these other applications too, including Microsoft Teams. To carry out word processing, simply click on Word, and a document will open up inside the browser and you can word process in exactly the same way you would do with an application on your computer. If you wish to install the software to your own computer, simply go to your name or your initials on the complete right hand side of the screen, top right, where my name is, and I click on here and go to view account. This will take you to the preferences section of your account. When the preferences page loads, simply scroll down to Office Applications and click on Manage. The link will bring you to this Install page. The Install Office icon will install the software to whichever device you are logged in through, whether it be an Apple Macintosh, a Windows PC, an Android device, or an iOS, iPad, or iPhone. Simply click on Install Office and the software will install to that device. You will authenticate with your full student email address and password and instantly the software will become available to you on that device. As you have five full clean installs, you can carry out this process on five separate individual devices. Office 365 includes a OneDrive storage location. One terabyte of storage, 1,000 gigabytes each. It is yours and yours alone. The university has given it to you. We cannot see it. We cannot read it. We cannot write to it. It is yours. It's yours privately and yours personally. So you can put all your personal materials, your own music, photos, videos, everything you wish. You can store it there safely and know that it's guaranteed and backed up by Microsoft. It's also accessible from any computer or mobile device anywhere in the world. You simply have to install the software to that device and you have instant access to your OneDrive. 
Again, it's very important you store all of your important university materials inside OneDrive. It's a default location for storing files if you're working on Office 365 applications in the browser. And indeed, it's also the default save location from applications you install to your desktop. Please retain this and ensure you save everything to the OneDrive. As an extra bonus inside your full Office 365 is Microsoft Teams, a resource used by many people during the COVID lockdown uh, restrictions earlier in 2020. To maintain contact with family and friends, you have the full professional version of Microsoft Teams, which essentially means you can have as many teams as you wish. It also means you can work collaboratively on documents inside Microsoft Teams, whilst having video conference so you can see and speak to each other and work on documents at exactly the same time. It's a very, very powerful resource. GCU Apps Anywhere is a repository of software available to you should you so desire. It contains a whole host of software which may not be of relevance to the course of study, however you may be able to use it in your own personal life. If you wish to access this repository and see what software is there, simply go to the student web pages of the university, type in Apps Anywhere, go to the page, use your username and your password to log into it, search through the repository, find the software you wish, click on install and a small piece of conduit software will install itself to your computer then install the software that you require. The conduit software is not a virus, it's simply a piece of licensing software which essentially installs the, the application you wish and puts a license onto it for 30 to 60 days. After that uh, time period has elapsed, the software probably will deactivate, however the files you create with the software will stay active. If you wish to use software again, simply go back to Apps Anywhere and reinstall and a new license will be put in place. Another useful resource for students of the School of Computing, Engineering and Built Environment is the Azure for Education Microsoft Software Repository. Simply go to Google, search for Azure for Education. In that page, go to login, use your full student email address and your domain password and you have access to the Microsoft Educational Software Repository. The software is there for you to use while you're a student at university. When you leave and graduate, this resource will die. Your student email account and your OneDrive will remain active. However, the Azure for Education will die. That comes to the conclusion of the ICT induction. I hope the information has been of use to you and I wish you every success as a student of Glasgow Caledonian University.